All right, let's continue with some exploration. Starting with this very small island over there. And what do we have here? A bunch of boars. Now, boars are a bit tricky, so I may need to switch back to sword and board. And opening with magic isn't so bad of an idea either. There we go. That was a good idea. Now I wonder what sort of perils I can ex expect on that island. And this guy seems to be waiting here for something. Ah, Ericsson, you poor bastard. They say piss always runs downhill. That's why you keep coming back here. You thought about going to the small island? At least that would take you away from here. When you're talking about piss, I'm pretty sure you're referring to yourself. Since you're already here. Look who it is. Back for another beating. Cocky bastard, aren't you? What are you doing here? Captain Romanov wants me to make sure that nothing happens to you. Leastwise, nothing while you're looking for Steel Beard's clues. And we do what Romanov says. That means me and you. You know, I think you're here as a punishment. I bet Romanov's still angry after you lost the key to Steel Beard's shack. You should worry about your position, not mine. So you're watching over me. I feel a lot safer now. Just find the next clue. How did you know I'd be coming here? Romanov knows where everyone on this island is. Can't hide anything from him. How do you know about Steelbeard's clues? Everybody knows. That's not an answer. What the fuck does it matter who knows? Just find them. Why should I go to the small island? You're looking for something belongs to a pirate. Island's protected by water, isn't it? Someone as dense as you can work that out. It doesn't seem like a very good place to hide something. I'm telling you, you'll find what you're looking for there. We'll see. You know what, Ericsson? I'm tired of you and your cronies just watching over me and Patty. So how about you bite the dust? No second chances this time. I know you guys are after Patty anyway, so I, I might as well just take you out now, before you start to cause trouble. Not too shabby. Well, since Ericsson was so convinced there's some treasure on this small, small island, maybe he knew something. Ah! I can use Nautilus to make Nautilus transformation scrolls, so it could be useful to have. Start again. That didn't do it. Yes. All right. Nothing too fancy, but then again, I wasn't expecting it from some random chest. Now I hope the water healer here is shallow, and I can just um, get across easily. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. Now I don't expect this place to be without dangers and all. So I should proceed uh, carefully. Yeah. There. <laughs> well, is if sting rats are the worst I'm gonna see here, then I'm not too concerned. But I sincerely doubt it. This type of island seems like the right kind of place where some very nasty wild animals could flourish undisturbed. All right. <laughs> Looks like one of those nasty scorpions. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Ah! 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 Yeah! Oh, okay, so it's one of those large scorpions that I found in some of the ruins before. But this time around I do have some useful combat magic. So I should be able to handle it somewhat. Here goes nothing. Alright, maybe it's not that damaging. Holy... Well, it's slowly working. No mana. Until I ran out of mana. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is dangerously close. That is dangerously close. Let's see if I can faint him behind this log here. Ow. ow! Ow, 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 ow. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was too careless. Boy, is this thing fast. Way faster than I thought he'd be. This is bad for me. Don't want to get myself trapped in here with this creature. Oh, nameless grave. Is that so? A little more for me. There's something about digging up for treasure that's uh, deeply satisfying. The previous chest contained quite a bit of gold, so there we go. Let's see. Oh, not bad. And one more letter. I suppose I can go through all of them once I find them all. One more piece of the clue. 
Now, that big scorpion uphill is probably guarding something. So I'm not willing to give up on that either. Alright. He seems to be a bit confused. So, no. Oh, the explosion damage. Nice. Scorpion Claws. A terrible weapon. Okay. I wonder if I can forge those into an actual weapon I could potentially wield. Alright. Healing Potion and a little bit of gold. I'm doing quite well gold-wise, so... Not really that impressed I suppose okay hero's crown is always useful and with this I think the small island just about covers it now Technically, I have a few quests to go east of the big island to the east here. Look for Master Cyrus and whatnot. But I'm a bit more interested in heading back to the monastery and to learning a few more spells or um, spell tier ranks or whatnot. Rune magic tiers. Ah! I wonder if I'll run into more of the Dawn's men. They seem to be everywhere on this island. And they really do have a nose for finding um, Steel Beer's treasure. Which is a bit eerie, in fact. Ericsson didn't want to say how he found how he got the information. Well, since I'm an alchemist, collecting plants on the way is also a very useful thing. I imagine that the eastern part of the island is more of a wild uh, place. So, I'm a bit reluctant. I'm a bit stronger than before, but I'm not... I don't feel that strong yet. Not like I can t uh, could take on just about anything. So I'm trying to preserve as much strength as I can. I wonder if there's any tricks I can use against this ghoul. From the utility side. Like for instance conjure a skeleton here. At the same time, I'm thinking maybe I can potentially use this conjure skeleton later. But it's also possible that I find more scrolls later, so... You know what? Let's do it. Alright. I just need you to distract this ghoul here. So I can get behind them and... Oh boy, there's two of them. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! All right, they do have this AOE magic burst ah! that I'm not too keen to taste. Have a taste of. Nice. Gotta say, someone's skeleton really came in handy there. Don't think I could have handled two of them by myself. I should definitely look, be on the lookout for more of those scrolls. Very useful indeed. And go figure, they are skeletons inside this cave. 
Alright, well, I'm not sure what the duration on this conjuring is. So I may want to make uh, good use of it until it, uh, while it lasts. But there are a whole bunch of skeletons. Although, at this point, I do have some experience fighting them, so I'm not as scared as I was before. Even more so that I got my buddy here to back me up. I should just uh, try to hit all my spells now. Whoa. They're a bit skinny, so they're, my fireballs are almost going through their bones and stuff. Oh, my, my skeleton's name is no Fred. Mana. No mana? Boy, 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 boy. Alright, time to get some mana and throw a bit more magic. I'm sorry that Fred died there. Alright, I should be careful where I'm going. You're dead. And you'll soon follow. Alright. Do a bit of melee combat. Ah! Yeah! There we go. That was a nice parry there. Masterfully done, I should say. Alright. Fred did do a bit of good work. So I'm quite happy with him. I'm sorry he got uh, killed or destroyed in the end, but there we go. He was pretty much a me soon then. Now, skeleton warriors are a bit tougher than normal skeletons, but it's nothing I can't handle at the moment. Yeah. Ah. And that takes care of that. Perfect. Oh, these skellies do have a bit of gold on them. Not too shabby, not too shabby. These almost look like some dug up ruins as well. Tell joke? I'm sure. I have been known to piss off some guards every now and then. So knowing a few good jokes is probably a good thing. Small amulet, eh? That could actually come in handy, maybe. Apparently not, it's just the one of the amulets that I sell to a merchant. Alright, so was this the end of it? I'm a bit disappointed, considering the amount of skeletons that were in here. I was expecting some sort of forgotten treasure thingy thingy. But I suppose I'm not really one to complain considering how much gold I already have. Still, I'm just glad I managed to clear this cave. Uh, if I manage to find some more skeleton scrolls at Monastery, I'm sure to purchase them. Fred there was definitely a savior. Oh, that looks like a chieftain. It is a chieftain. This chieftain is pretty strong compared to the normal gnomes. So I want to be careful. Oh. Ah! 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 Bad timing with the parry there. You could say I'm still working on it. There we go, tool bag. Halfway there with those tool bags.
Now, if I head this way, I am potentially going back the way I came, maybe? Or maybe I've been here before. Yes, I have. When I first came, if I'm not mistaken. Alright. I'm thinking go right instead of left here, just to explore a little bit more. There could potentially be some spoils around here. Hey, and just as I say it, look at this. Oh, this actually- no, 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 these guys look like diggers. Levitation? Yes, please. Rusty sword and another corpse with a shovel and a goblet and a necklace. Is the necklace worth anything? The necklace... Uh, okay, it was one of these uh, 200 gold uh, coins thingy thingies. Alright, small amber. Rings can be made out of this. Alright, that looks like a strength type of uh, amber. That would produce a strength ring. Now, I'm a bit of a battle mage myself, as it seems, so perhaps in the future I can use a bit of a strength ring. I'm not sure if I want to really use a levitation scroll to get on the other side. I'm thinking more like going around here. I did see a black wolf up there, so I know there are some uh, tougher creatures. Animal, beasts, wildlife, etc, etc. Why, hello there. Alright, so this way goes to the farm. Well, you know what? I am not opposed to killing some wolves here. Hungry wolves are the easy ones, so I'm not even surprised that I one shot them. But you know what? They are good experience. So, you won't see me saying no to a little bit of extra goodness there in the experience side. Especially because I have... Boy, oh boy. You guys are so aggressive. Aggressive? Aggressive. Right, so basically because uh, I have so many uh, rune tiers and crystals to upgrade and so on and so forth. Every bit of experience and every other level up does help, so... Let's be greedy about it. Short bow, okay. Let's see that coin purse actually. The last time I opened one, it was like 300 gold coins in it. So I do seem to have a good luck with them. If I could only find them. Anywho. Alright, so this one, this, this path goes to the farm. But I'm more interested in going around it. Uh, going to this farm from the right side. I did see last time I checked out the farm that there were some paths leading to the east. So let's find those out. Still hungry wolves. Nothing I can't handle. Ah! Oh my lord, what the hell is that thing and where the hell am I? Alright, this seems to be a little bit of a hidden thingy thingy here. A hidden path. What is this creature? Thunder Lizard. 
That looks like it can really tear me apart, so maybe I want to be super careful. Alright, here goes nothing. Boy, is that thing tough and fast. What? Nice moves. Nice moves there. It uses its uh, carapace there to take cover. So I'm thinking that magic could be more useful. Damn. For something so big, it's so, so nimble. So, so fast. Oh. I'm getting some good hits on it though. Wow. Thunder Lizard. Go figure. Mana plant and healing herbs. Oh. Could it be that the Thunder Lizard is not actually aggressive? Maybe it's like not a carnivore but a herbivore? So perhaps I shouldn't have really attacked it. But you know what? Better safe than sorry. I'm still looking for that point burst. 200, 250 and another 250. Uh, not 250, 25. Haha, <laughs> I wish it were 250. Maybe I just got used to seeing the big numbers there. Could be, could be. What else, what else? Oh, there's a chest back here. There we go. Persistence is rewarded. Let's see how well. And create illusion. Actually, whoa, 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 whoa. Amulet of life. Not bad at all. I'm actually more interested in this create illusion. Uh, because it helps me get into some um, guarded places sometimes. Alright, so let's see this little forest here. This little thicket of forest, whatnot. Actually I should be extra careful because it could put I could potentially get ambushed. Um bum 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 because of all the bushes and uh, vegetation here. It's a little bit thick. Oh, Yang Stingran. Ah. Wasn't really expecting to fight um, weaker creatures. I was expecting more tougher ones. But there we go. There's a black wolf or two. Damn, very sneaky. It almost made me think that uh, he's not gonna attack and I lowered my guard. And he got me very well. Alright. You go down now. And that takes care of that. If I find a campfire or a cook stove or something. I should fry some more meat. Uh, maximum mana. Maybe I don't want to use that at the moment. Maybe I should save it for later, I'm thinking. Chicken drumstick. You know what? I can use this. Let's do it. Would have me some tasty chicken. Why not? All right, more wolves. These ones are definitely not as tough as the black ones. Oh, would you look at that, a pixie hand. That is useful for increasing my total dexterity there. 
Not that I'm a good archer or I plan to be one. But you never know when I may need to use a bow for various utilitarian reasons. Raison. No way. Is this another nameless grave? Yes, it is. A little more for me. So, is this potentially the last one then? Because I do have four out of five clues there. Let's find out. It's a bit ominous to dig up graves, but there we go. Hope I don't uh, dig up some nasty skeleton at some point. Treasure. And like always, a bit of gold and uh, uh, some other valuable items. This potion of dexterity is very good. And another letter from Captain Steelbeard. I should probably go speak to Patty now. I'm still uncomfor uncomfortable with the fact or the idea that Patty was sitting there in that grove all alone. Or cemetery. I would call it. Ah, there we go. Let's fry some meat. Looks good. Tasty. Uh, hey, bro. I don't know if you mind, but you know what? I guess he didn't mind at all. Leon, your mother is looking for you, Leon. Um, you are real, right? Of course yes. I'm real. Sorry, sorry. It's becoming harder and harder to tell these days. Who are you? The name's, uh, Leon. You seem a little <laughs> nervous, Leon. You're certainly hard to find. Why were you looking for me? Your mother? Your mother is worried about you. My mother is always worried. You can tell her that I'm still alive, for now, and that I miss her. Mothers like to hear that kind of thing. Tell you what, you do it yourself. I'm not going back there. I came away to try and get some peace. And you thought you are gonna find it here in the wilderness. With the gnomes, with the boars and the wolves. Boy, you don't look that like the toughest fighter. What are you doing out here in the wilderness? Just looking for a bite to eat. Sure that's all you're doing? Of course. I'm a hunter. I am. Just, you know, hunting. You look more like a looter to me. <laughs> Correct. And looters aren't very popular around here. Look, I'm not trying to cause any trouble. Like I said, I'm just a simple hunter. Right. <laughs> I don't believe you. Correct. I definitely don't believe you. You're not convincing me at all. Come on. What are you really doing out here? Okay, okay. So I'm a treasure hunter, seeker. I heard that the ruins are full of stuff. And so I set out to get my share. I even got myself a shovel and a pickaxe. The ruins are full of skeletons and skeleton lords and nasty things that want to numb you. Cut the crap. I can tell you're lying. You're really not gonna let this rest, are you? Not a chance. Okay, okay. But you won't believe the truth either. Just before the Order locked up Harbour Town, I started getting nightmares. Then it got worse. I started seeing these apparitions, hearing this whispering inside my head. I escaped town, but it's no better out here. I haven't slept properly for ages. The whispering, always the whispering. These apparitions, these restless ghosts, they won't leave me alone. Sounds like you're cursed. Why would a dead lord haunt you? If only I knew. So do these ghosts talk to you? Only one of them. He calls himself Lord Patriscon. What can you tell me about Lord Patriscon? When he comes to me, I can hear this horrible, whispering voice inside my head. He says terrible things. Terrible, terrible things. I hope he's not making you kill things, people especially. Do you have any idea where these ghosts come from? No. 
Well, in my dreams, I see towers. There's a ruined tower north of here, and there are more on the west coast. Perhaps they come from those. Okay. If they've singled you out, then you must have done something. I found this strange ring in the forest. Found it. All right. I didn't steal it. It was just there. Been seeing them since then. Show me the ring. Here. That ring must have belonged to them. And the undead don't like their things being taken. Oh, crap. What do I do now? Maybe I can take care of these ghosts. Really? How will you do that? I'll go to the towers, see what I find there. That would be good. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I need more information about these undead. Can you mark where these ruined towers are on my map? Right, right. Let me get my head straight. Well, one isn't far from here to the north, and two are on the west coast. I think there could also be one on the south coast and one in the east. I'll mark them on your map anyway. I hope it helps. Right. Thanks. So, I think I'm missing the one in the southeast and north, actually. I took one of these vassal rings from an undead lord. It looks just like yours. So, my haunting could really have something to do with that ring? Could be. I wish I'd never touched that damn thing. You think there are more of them out there? That all those ghosts has one of those rings? I found a second one of those rings. It looks as though only undead lords have them. Well... Undead lords and you. <laughs> oh, God. What do you think that means? I suspect that your talking ghost, Patriscon, gave the other lords vassal rings so he could control them. But something went wrong, and they all ended up undead. What does that have to do with me? When you found the vassal ring, Patriscon tried to take control of you. That's why you're hearing his voice. Yes. Yes. He talks to me. Says things. He says things to me. Maybe next time you won't go picking up someone else's belongings. And you think that warrants a death sentence? He wants me to kill myself, end it all. There has to be a way to break this curse. I hope so, before this curse breaks me. Who does this hut belong to? Me, well, me now. So you've taken it. You think it's okay to just steal someone's home? Hey, this island's been turned upside down. You see that, right? Besides, no one's bothered me. So the owner's either dead or he's been dragged off to the monastery. Sounds about right for this place. How did you get out of Harbour Town? I climbed over the town wall. It's that easy? Wow. Well, apart from stopping them seeing you do it, that goes without saying. Well, there we go. So now I have three of these six vessel rings. Hmm. All right, so I got two of them from this uh, west coast here One of them is supposed to be a little bit up north um, Have I been here? I've been to the island, but I think the road here is actually Yeah behind this mountain over here the green one and Also one there, but this is pretty far away from civilization so because of that I imagine there's some pretty powerful creatures lying around so I should be careful now I don't know if Leon minds but you know what Leon this is not exactly your hut either so I don't want to hear any complaining from you Strangely enough, I'm not getting cursed or anything by having these rings. Maybe it has to do with actually equipping them. Yeah, it says wisdom minus 10. <laughs> Probably because it would be pretty stupid to do it, to equip them. Alrighty. A little more for me. 
I think I should have said that. More XP, more XP. Come to me, more XP. Oh, Ogre Root, nice. I do like myself all these plants. I just hope I find enough wine to make enough potions with all the plants that I'm gathering. That looks like a dead novice and a gnome. Damn, attack me from behind, you sneaky little. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I do see the tower in the distance. Uh, Cryban. Uh, this must be one of the apprentices which uh, went to gather plants for Master... Master Potions. I forgot his name. Alright, so that tower must be the one with the Lord, the zombie skeleton Lord. Undead Lord. And I also see a hut over there in the distance. You know what? I feel like I'm doing alright for now. So maybe I want to postpone going to the man monastery chest for a while longer. Only, if only to look a bit around a bit more. Alright, so nothing interesting that way. Let's see where this path leads off to. I do see a couple of more boars in the distance and a hero's crown actually. Alright, I definitely need to get better at throwing these fireballs though. I feel like I'm wasting a bit of mana there just by missing. Ah! Fortunately, I do have a whole bunch of mana potions. So that's not bad for me at all. Hero's crown, very nice. Alright, so where does this one lead off to? To the east coast. Alright. I am more interested in going this away, actually. This one also to the east coast. Oh, you sneaky. I almost didn't see you there until you started moving. You almost could have gotten another sneak shot on me. Boy, boy oh boy. Alrighty. There is definitely no shortage of plants in the wilderness here. Alright. Looks... Wow. I definitely don't want to get myself flanked. Yeah. Uh. But I do anyway. Uh. I don't wanna, but I uh. let it happen. I think it was a good idea to become a magician. I'm definitely not the most uh, brilliant melee specialist. Okay, so I'm wondering what's up with that hut over there, but I would like to kill these boars first if I can 
Or apparently just one boar. I mean, his guard break is excellent. I'm just surprised that he doesn't do any follow-up to it. Alright, if I am fighting gnomes, I should target the chieftain first. He's definitely the one who's the most dangerous out of the bunch. <laughs> I bet I missed that one. And that one. I can't cast without mana. I wish I had noticed that before starting casting, actually. Man, that uh, forward leap attack thingy thingy. That is actually pretty scary. It does a whole lot of damage if I'm not careful. And ironically speaking, even though I have staff fighting and I'm... Um, an adept at it, I'm still using a sword and shield. Mainly because these uh, low ground creatures are so abundant here. Like wolves and boars and whatnots. Trying to get me flanked. Damn it. Okay, I'm in super big trouble. Need the potion now. Or two. Okay, he's right behind me. Come here, you uh, foul huh. beast! Ah. Damn. Black wolves. They are pretty much the more dangerous ones out of the bunch. Not only that they are quick, but they're also quite ferocious. I wonder if there's any sort of bed here I could use to take a little nap. Just to get my strength back. Now, beside this gnome here, I don't see anything else. Alright, never mind. I see some other gnomes in the distance. Come here, you. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna get away without using some more potions and food. Okay, I count at least three gnomes over there. Four, actually. That one is a chieftain? No. Okay, they're all normal gnomes, it seems. Oh, five of them. There's uh, one more to the right, or to the left. Uh. 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 All right. Let's take this up close and personal. Whoa! Wow, very very close, very close. Too close for comfort. Uh, 
At least I'm making good progress on these steel bags for the blacksmith and the harbor town. I like the sound of water here. That almost looks like it's heading off to a swamp. Alright, there is an abandoned hut here. Uh, bomb, small ruby. Alright, I'm going to take a nap here instead of just wasting my consumables. Let's hope nothing's going to attack me in my sleep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, looks like I found the boss. Why, hello there. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Black wolves, my favorite. Oh, it's just one of them. Well, that's no problem at all then. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, so I'm approaching this cursed tower thingy thingy. With the undead lord. Boy oh boy. Alright, I hope I can handle it. Ah! But to be fair, I did handle the previous ones just fine. I wish I had Fred with me. What else can I use instead? Uh, do I want to use this? This could potentially be useful to be honest. I'm willing to give it a try. Let's find out. But I gotta bait these guys with a little bit of magic. Just so I can wear them down as they approach me. Alright, fighting them on this bridge here is probably a good idea. Just so they only come from one direction. Yeah. Well, if you're not gonna attack me, I'm going to attack you. Wow, I am quite impressed with that turnout. I still, well, this didn't last for very long, to be honest. I was expecting it to last a little bit longer. Unfortunately, I still have plenty of them to go through, including and not limited to the Undead Lord himself. So let me drink a mana potion real quick. Still have one or warrior and at least the undead lord. <laughs> Alright, I'm definitely not timing this correctly. You know what I could do? I could potentially just switch back to my staff. I feel like it does a little bit better. Just because the damage is higher. 
That didn't do it. It worked. Leather helmet. Blade and blunt weapon protection. Hmm. Well, I could practically wear one, but you know, I think it should look a bit weird. <laughs> Not exactly a helmet type of character, but there we go. Well, it doesn't increase it by that much, to be honest. It's incredibly marginal. Ice protection. I wonder if I'll uh, really get to use that. Oh, I think I just found one. Why, hello there. Ah! 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 All right, so definitely have a lot more fighting power with the staff. There we go. One more ring for the collection. And unfortunately, there were no other goodies to be had, but that's all right. All right, so is there any sort of opening here to the north? Just a bunch of goblins, gnomes, nefarious little bastards. Huh? So here we have wolves and whatnot again. Well, uh, I can technically fight them with the staff by dodging or attacking them before they can reach me. But at the end of the day... Not sure what's worth more. 5 extra damage or plus 1 sword fighting. Damn, I should have lowered my guard there. Alright, ah. ah. oh, so there are a whole lot of creatures down there. You know what, I could be tempted to go and try to take them on. Just for the experience before I head back to the monastery. I could definitely see myself doing that. Ah. So far so good though, so far so good. I may have underestimated my abilities there. I'm not that terrible at fighting. Or not as bad as I thought I would be. Could be better, way better of course. But as it stands, I can hold my own in a fight. Which is uh, more or less what I was looking for. Alright, this could be tricky. I definitely see at least one, if not two black wolves. And maybe one or two normal ones as well. Oh, never mind. I think they may all potentially be black. Alright. Alright. One, one fight at a time. Okay, that did it. Now let me see a bit so I don't get outflanked or fall off this cliff. Ah! Ah! 
Damn it. Alright, that was super scary. Let's hope I can heal myself. Ah, damn it. Ah. So bloody ferocious. Ah. Yeah, I don't think I could have done this with the staff, to be honest. I mean, no way, man. I really needed to parry and block there. That wasn't it. Did it. Ah, uh, pom pom. Wow. That is a very good amulet. Not for me, but very good nonetheless. I did make myself some fried meat, now that I think about it. Alright, so this cave is making some weird sounds here. Yeah, weird sounding cave is probably where ghouls are. Unfortunately, this time there's no more Fred. I wish I could have a companion. But I don't think the other novices would really be able to keep up with me. So, what can I do? What can I do? I may... Mm. No, I don't have any protection magic. Which is a shame. Yeah, I don't have anything else to really help me out here. Not sure what type of damage this guy does. Well, it's not looking good, that's for sure. If there is more than one, I'm so screwed. Uh, I think I'm screwed anyway. Ah! All right, good thing I backed off there. You know what, I had a really bad feeling, or I have a really bad feeling that if I go and fight this guy, I'm gonna get wrecked. <laughs> Just some premonition telling me that uh, it's about to get very dangerous. Not sure what else to do or to use. I'm thinking that maybe something like... Wait, I don't have the uh, distraction. Oh yeah, uh, create illusion. Don't know if this works, but let's try it. Okay, I tried, it doesn't work. I think it only really works against the uh, guards and whatnot. I don't think I have any time to cast. Not with the way this guy is attacking. Oh, he was about to do the AoE burst thingy. Nice. All right, I guess I just need a little bit a little bit more space to maneuver Yeah This almost looks like patty to be honest. This really looks like patty 
The dark hair and the slim silhouette. Fatty. You know what I could make use of? Aw, oh, man. Is this for real? Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. There's two ghouls out there. Boy. Uh, one thing that might work. Um, pa -pa -pa, I really need to learn these seals. Do I have a normal light spell? Yes, I do. One, one thing that I could use is some good old-fashioned kiting, perhaps. Not sure if that works. I missed that shamelessly or shamefully. Well, I wasn't expecting this to work, really, but it seems that it does. Look at me. That ghoul is so confused, he doesn't no even know what's going on. Let me just get some full mana here. Okay. At least that's one down. What happened to the other one? Oh, I still see him off in the distance here. Wow, no reaction. No reaction at all. Interesting, interesting. I should try to make use of this in the future as well. This is going way better than I thought. Interesting. Wow, <laughs> boy, I did not see myself fighting and winning against two ghouls by myself, but there we go. Using some uh, clever positioning there. This lock is too difficult. Yeah, all right. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. It's a shame. I fought for nothing, basically. All right, the monastery is actually right above me. I don't know if there's any sort of secret passage to lead me to it. I doubt it. It looks quite uh, majestic up there on top of the mountain. All right, so this is a swamp. And potentially there's one of the temples here. Uh, or so did Don say. Alright, before I tackle the wolves, I just want to kill these mods here. And then I can switch to sword and board.
I'm not sure. This is actually looking sketchy. Uh, maybe I'm risking too much. Because if the if the wolves attack me, I may have a problem. Oh right. So the wolves do oh never mind. He kinda just uh, changed his location there. Alright. No problem. Ah. My god, is that a lot of them or what? Are you telling me these wolves are afraid of water? Haha! <laughs> you suckers, I have found your weakness. Imagine that, they're afraid of water. Okay, let's hope there is no more unexpected guests. Hero's crown, always welcome. Ah, what do we have here? That wasn't it. A little bit of Kinda extra goodness. Again. There. All right, it wasn't the most exciting one, I should say. Are you alone here? Looks like it. Easy prey. That looks like an or uh, iron vein. Here's some more ore. <laughs> Maybe I'm just uh, imagining things, but uh, not every waterfall has a little bit of a uh, cave behind it. This one certainly doesn't, but you know what? Didn't hurt to check. Alright, I think if I level up one more time, I'll just teleport straight back to the monastery. Just so I can increase my power a little bit. Alright, let me guess, to the east coast. Yep, to the east coast. Okay, I think I pretty much came this way. Uh-oh. Wow, they were really just uh, waiting in the bush there. That is some bushmaster tactic. Ah. Mm. 
Not sure which way to go, even. Um, maybe would have been a better idea to keep going left. That looks like a campfire. And that certainly looks like a temple to me. I am about to run out of fried meat. So this was a bit timely. Mm, I should... It smells good. Yes, it does. Oh, okay. Now these temples are usually dangerous. So I may want to be extra, extra careful. Where am I particularly? All right, so I'm somewhat east of the swamp. All right, let's see what I can find down here. Oh! Hey, you! Watch where you're going. This ruin is really dangerous. Calm down. Tell me what's happened. This whole thing has been a total fiasco. Disaster! Finch has said, go to the Eastern Temple, bring back what you find. So, a group headed into the ruin here. But nobody's come back out of the place. Gold be damned! If I'd known it was lethal, I never would have volunteered. How many of you are there? Six. Three fighters and three treasure hunters. One of the treasure hunters fell through the trap door over there. The fool. I told him, look out you idiot, and... He was gone. The others went through the passage back there. Haven't heard from any of them since. They were supposed to stay in touch. They were supposed to let us know what's happening. You know what? <laughs> yeah, this ruin is probably very dangerous, as this guy says. I feel a bit underprepared if I go there first. At least I should uh, memorize the location, right? And just come back here after I train a bit more in the monastery. That is probably the right thing to do. Ah! Ah! With my previous ruin experience, there were definitely a lot of nasty beasts inside, including but not limited to ghouls, giant scorpions, and who knows what else, and probably a lot of traps too. So I don't want to tackle this unprepared, is what I'm trying to get across. Okay, so exploring this swamp here, right underneath the temple, could yield a little bit... Uh, or just the experience I need, so I can go back and train. Let's find out. Now, of course, because it's a swamp, I expected swamp sharks or rot worms, I guess they're called. Yeah! Yeah! You weren't all that tough. I also expect to find some bug bodies around here, and those guys are pretty strong even. No, more rot worms for now. Wow, how did I miss that one? That was a pretty silly mistake, never mind. I see a rot worm there and this looks like some sort of entrance to a cave could it potentially be that uh, temple it could potentially be the temple 
like an exit and probably this uh, grate here is unlocked from inside all oh, right I should keep that in mind maybe it's useful no mana <laughs> What is a magician without his mana? Obsidian! Wow! That's a new one. This is what I need. Very interesting. Maybe I can uh, craft some sort of staff out of obsidian. Wouldn't that be peachy? It's quite dark uh, down here, but I can still make out the basics, like rot worms here. lock is too difficult yes yeah, so I keep hearing ah! well I couldn't actually find anybody to teach me more about picking locks that must be like a Don's type of thing but I don't really have the best uh... oh bug bodies no way boy wow they are quite weak against fire it seems Ouch! Ouch, 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 ouch. Yes, I remember you hit like a truck. Thank you for the friendly reminder, or unfriendly reminder, I should say. Nice. Why, hello there. Okay, a little bit too close for comfort. Definitely made a lot of mistakes there. All right, I can see another bug body. of them even okay I'm gonna need a lot more mana for this then and some healing potions don't really want to chip up chip out on these I shouldn't forget that I still have... Hey, look at this. Hero's crown. I still have a little bit here to explore. And I did see this cave earlier. 
Could it be another temple or is it just a cave? The big question would be. Wow. Okay. Plenty of skeletons here. That I'm not too happy to deal with. Wow, <laughs> I just uh, needed a reminder that skeletons actually hurt a lot. Unfriendly reminder that was. can always rely on the staff at least to deal a significant more amount of damage and also the combat moves are also better with the side attacks there just to keep the enemy guessing okay you know what I could use I could definitely use some light so let's shed some light on this situation Boy, these guys are pretty strong. got one but I should definitely heal myself I'm not too comfortable with this come on now looks like I can attack twice before he attacks one time Come on now. Do it. Just do it. Ah. Ah. Well, if you're not gonna do it, then I am too hesitant there. He knew I was gonna lose. Uh, I don't like that growling there. Alright, more iron war. Here's some more ore. Okay. Well, this seems to be the end of it. Not the most exciting one. But, you know, the experience is still good.
I should be pretty close at this point to the next level up. I'm hoping by the time I finish clearing the swamp here is gonna happen. So I can just go back to El Monastery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stingrats, I don't really want to use, uh, engage with my uh, staff here. Ah! All right. This one I just managed to hit before he could hit me. Now, what else do we have here? A bunch of moths and some rot worm. I think it's starting to get dark. Uh, visibility is becoming really difficult now. Better start again. It broke. Damn. Well, no problem. I still have plenty of them. Did it. Oh, permanent uh, mana, uh, life potion, not mana. Actually, this one I'm going to drink ASAP. Along with the uh, dexterity one. And also the pixie hats here. I should have like a decent amount of dexterity at this point. Uh, 34. That's, that's not so bad at all, to be honest. Considering I haven't... Uh, spent any points into it it's not bad all right so i'm not very close to leveling up though which means i may need to do the temple now This basically just leaves. Alright, I guess I'm doing the temple now. If I could have leveled before, you know, finishing here, that would have uh, been great. But since that didn't happen, let's do the temple. Now, if I only I could find it again. it I, I feel like it should be this way, right? Somewhere. It was definitely on the right side of things. Okay, I think I'm going to north now. To north. That's the... Oh, okay. This is probably the back entrance. Or the exit. Alright. Well, it was a little bit hidden there. So I'm not surprised that I couldn't uh, just immediately find it.
Or maybe it's up this path. Let's find out. All right, here we are again. Um, you know, before that, I may roast some meat. Looks good. Good. So why haven't you done anything about it? I was ordered to stay here to guard the entrance. By whom? Danilo, my boss. Fincher, the Don's bodyguard, ordered Danilo not to return to the camp until there isn't a crumb of gold left in the Eastern Temple. I knew there'd be trouble. He can't even keep his people together. You said one of the treasure hunters fell through a trap door? Yes. I thought these guys were experts. He went through over there. I wouldn't go after him, though. You might not come back out. And what if the men down there need help? My job is to stand guard, nothing else. I have to do what I'm told. Yeah, you're a real hero. You want to be a hero, be my guest. I'm staying here as ordered. I'll let Danilo know that you want to go. No. No. If you tell him that, he'll think I'm scared. Just... Tell him everything's all right here. First, I'll have to find him. Do that. I'll wait up here. Well, at least I know you're watching my back. What have you found in the ruins so far? Not much. Some gold. But the passages go deep into the mountain. Who knows what's waiting down there? I've got a really bad feeling about this building. Haha. <laughs> you and me both. All right. I'll go in and find out what happened. Be careful. There's just one of you, and a group of fighters has already disappeared. Ah, oh boy, every time I talk to this guy, I just get the really bad feeling again. Yeah, <laughs> really bad feeling. Don't really have anything to report to Mendoza. But I could do some training with Master Ignatius. I am ready. Let me see. Your mind is open. Yes. Is that a good thing? If you are unprepared, there could be consequences. Great. You are ready. <laughs> Your life force is fit to channel the powers. The way is now open for you to proceed to the second seal. I am ready to study the second runic seal. No. Wait, really? Well, I still need the 16 points there. Don't think I can easily get those. This text is about magic spells. <laughs> and just as I say that. Interesting. Wow. Imagine. This must be the Holy Flame, right above a little bit of magma there. <laughs> I say a little bit. Oh, this appears to be going somewhere. I just need 10 more Wisdom. This log is too difficult.
Well, I was really hoping that I could advance to the second tier there. But I'm not sure where to get the other 10 wisdom from. As such, I think I'll be spending my learning points just upgrading my fireball. Overall, I feel like uh, I have a pretty good... Um, I'm, I make good use of the fireball. And the fire way is the way I'll be going. Teach me magic. Teach me how to use the fireball spell. The skill you need with a fireball is not all magical. Thought and dexterity are also required. So I'm no choice. Choose your target. Hit it squarely, and your spell will inflict more harm upon your opponent. Teach me how to use the fireball spell. Learning never finishes. Once you have channeled your energy to create the fireball, you can turn that fire into a blazing heat and burn your enemies to ashes. Teach me how to use the fireball spell. Concentration is the key. If you concentrate, clear your mind of all distractions as you would clear a potion of impurities, you will do more than simply increase the power of the fireball you are throwing. Teach me how to use the fireball spell. It is time to enhance the properties of the fireball you cast. If you concentrate your power, it will reach your target more quickly and cause more damage over a greater area. I think I may be out. Yep. Still, that uh, that was not bad. Made half uh, half of the maximum progress there. Good way. Hopefully, I'll be be I'll be doing a bit more damage. Good luck. I'll be a bit more competent. You're going to stand here all day. Master. I did learn the first seal. Let me check my own things here. Right, so I could be using telekinesis for instance. Since all of these are the first seal. Let me just get them. Small healing, medium healing. Uh, unfortunately magic protection well let me just buy it now and forget about it basically a levitation ah second seal go figure go figure okay oh yes 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 definitely want some contra skeleton there freddy proved to be quite uh, useful so here is how i spend all my gold check this out all along I was saying how much gold I have, so now I get to use it. You know what? Ice protection? Not sure. Maybe it's useful in the future. No, oh, that one I'm currently using. Maybe I still make use of these rings, so I'm not prepared to cast them aside. Alright. Good luck! The Inquisition will bless you. Alright, so before I head off to that temple, I'm a bit more concerned about Patty. I did find all the nameless graves. And Patty there was still alone in that graveyard cemetery. I hope the Inquisitor can help us. I need some rest. Alright, so exploring the temple in the east is important, but you know what is even more important? Helping out Patty, so let's do that.